This is Gemara Baba Basra Daf Kof Zayin. All the learning should bring an incredible schos or fuah shalema for Tina Ikaben Miriam Ahuva Besiyat Dishmaya. The learning of the entire Chavura should bring this Heliga baby a incredible and complete Rafua Shalema Bekarov Besiyata Dishmaya. We're holding six lines from the bottom. Omar lay Rapopola Baye. And the Gemara continues yesterday's discussion, which was a discussion of Rav and Shmuel. And now we ask Akasha on Shmuel to remind yourself at the two dots, about 15 lines up, we spoke about Shneach, Shacholku, Bal, and Ach, Mimedina Sayyam. So now they divide it as two, but there's really a third brother. Rav said the machlek is his bottle and he had to do it again. And Shmuel said, no, you take a piece from each and you give it to the third brother. So Amr lay Rapabla Abaye, Rapabla says to Abaye, Akasha on Shmuel. Five lines from the bottom. Le Shmuel, according to Shmuel, the Amar Mekamsin. According to Shmuel, like we just quoted, who said that they each take a portion, they give it to this third brother that just appeared in Medina Sayyam. Lememra to come Dina. Is this to say that Shmuel holds that the din stands, even if we later find that they have not actually got what they were supposed to get? Sounds like according to Shmuel, each of the brothers has what they have, and they give away, so the din stands. But how could I be Rav and Shmuel both old. If someone says, I'm telling, selling you a core for 30 slime. Yochalach zervoy afilu besach reina. Until the final dot is complete, you're able to back out because the entire core is considered one entity. And therefore, until it's all transferred, it's not complete. Whereas if he says, Kore bishleishim sa besela ani meichlecha, then... Reshine, reshine, kinda. So, what do we see from the first case? That until there's a complete transfer, you'll add it back out. So, the question is in our case, once we look at through the vantage point of this third brother, it's clear that there's not a complete transfer of the item, as the third brother has not gotten anything. So, why, according to Shmuel, are we viewing this? That it's a complete din. Why are we viewing this? That it's, excuse me, it's a complete chalukon, and they each give the third brother, they should have to redo it. Like Rav says, answers the Gemara as we move over to Kovzayin Amar Aleph. Hasam Amar Rabbanan Milsa Dinichle Lemeicher Venichale Leloikeach. In that case, it's a special din that both the Meicher and the Lekeach, we do something good for them because they want to be able to back out until the last moment. However, this is different. This is in contrast to our case, the case of two brothers that divide the estate, the opposite. Each one has a different vantage point, and therefore Shmuel says the division indeed stands, and each of the brothers give the third with a little bit of their portion. Says the Gemara Itmar. So that really wrapped up yesterday's Machlech is Rav and Shmuel. We move on to a new case. In a similar vein, not exactly the same, until now we've been discussing that a third brother shows up. Now what do we do if they split up the estate and all of a sudden one of them loses a part of his estate? Why? Because he's given a chilek to a Baal Chai, the creditor. Rav says, Baalam Achleik, this whole thing is null and void, you got to do it again. Ushmul Amar, no. Viter, that brother loses his Mavater, his Yerusha, and there's nothing he can do to get anything. Ravasi Amar, and says Ravasi, a third opinion over here, Noitel Ravia Bekar Karavia Bimais. So we have three shitais. We have Rav who's learning that it's all bottle. We have Shmuel saying that it fully stands. Then we have Ravasi saying that you get back a Ravia from the Karka. 
and or excuse me, Ravia bin Mois, but nothing more than that. So explains the Gemara what exactly is this machlaik as six lines down, Kavzainam and Aleph. Rav Omar Balamachlaikis Kasavar. What does Rav hold? Rav holds Akajakalku Yarshin Haim. They're considered inheritors. And therefore, if something is lost from one of them, says Rav, the whole thing is bottle. Shmol Amar Viter Kasavar Akajakalku Lukukasim Have. It's like you bought something without any achrayis. So the fact that you lost something, I feel bad. It's tough luck. But Lamaisa is all you can do. There was no achrayis. Ravasi, the third opinion, is Safkale. He's misopic. Or Ravia Bimais. Due to the Safik, three different shita is what you do in this case. So what is the halacha? Amar Abba smack in the middle of the Amid. Hilchasa bekolani shmeitza mekamsin. In all of these cases, what do we do? We take off a part of their share and we give it to the other brother. Amemar Amar bala machleikas. We have a machleikas. What is the halacha? The hilchasa like amemar like rab bala machleikas, and you have to do it again. Tanu rabanan, and now we continue. Moving from Yerusha into Dayanim. Shloisha Shayardu Lishom Echa Lishom. Three Dayanim go down into a state to form an evaluation, a praise of property belonging to the to the Yesaimim. And their evaluation is not exactly all the same. Echram Rimano, Shayim Omer Matayim, Echram Rimano, Matayim, Ushayim Omer Bimano. What do we do? We have a machlaik as one die and says the cargo's worth a man a hundred. Other one says it's worth two hundred. Or one says it's worth two hundred, another one says it's worth a hundred. The halacha is a single dayan is nullified due to his minority status, meaning we have a debate in court. Majority wins. Let's say one says I'm on a hundred and one says it was Estrim, who was twenty slime, which is eighty zoos. Which is 120 Zos. So it's 80, 100, 120. Nidain bimana. Says the Yamara, we value it as a mana. Revelez of Rav Sadiq, I may need a bit. We give it to a third party to hold on to until they can figure it out. So says the Yamara, man, damar need a bimana. According to the first opinion, According to the Tanik Hama, it says we evaluate it as a mana. Milsa Mitsiyasahi. We go down the middle of the road. We follow the second day on him, which is a bit of a compromise between the two. Rav Lazar, Rav Sadiq, I'm need the Mitsishim. Rav Lazar, Rav Sadiq, we go 90. Why? Because Savar here holds Ara, this Karka Tishim Shavah is really worth 90. I have a high decom, I asked him. So why did he say Esrim? And remember, Esrim is Salayim, and 90 is Zuzin. So why did he say 20 equaling 80? Says the Gemara, and the Kavzayin Amad Beis. V'ayit Kamer Esrim, Katayi V'asar Lachayre. He messed up. He messed the valuation by 10. V'ayit Kamer Mana, Katayi Esrim, Asar Lachayre. So it's each one is 10 off, either overestimating or underestimating by 10. So says the Gemara, that's going to be in between the two. Ask the Gemara, Adirabo, Adirabo. Ask the Gemara on the opposite. Hi, Ara, really this land, may of Asara Shavya. Says the Gemara, this land is worth 110. Vaidikamar Mana, Kotoyi Asar Lachari, Vaidikamar Shleishim, Kotoyi Asar Likamei. Says the Yamara, Shkaya, Nakad Mia, Trey, Kame Biyadcha. Take the two Dayanim, the Mutarais, the Mitairas, Mana, Lai Mafkile, because they're all at least a maskim, who's at least a Mana. That's the sheet of the Tanakam. Achirim, Aimrim, comes on the Achirim. And what do they hold? Aisin, Shuma, Beneyem. They make an evaluation, Umishal, Shalim, with the third party. Kasavri in the last narrow line, Haratishim, Vitilasa, Vitilsa, Shavya. 
the land is really worth 93 and a third. By the Kamar Esrim on the first white line, Kotai Tzleisar v'Tulsalachar. If I had to come our money, Kotai Tzleisar Tulsalik Kamei. But then, when really the halacha is Dilma Tfei, really maybe Dilma Delay. Excuse me. But then, who Delay Matfei? Really, you should have said it's worth even more. Why Deloy Amar? Why? Because Savar Mistoi de Katifna Kulei Hai Achavre. He felt that it's just too much. I don't want to argue that much. He said it was 80, and therefore he said it's 100. But really, he might hold it to 106, but he wanted to be within the, a closer range to the other dying. Says the Gemara. Similar, Kasha. Adir Hi, Ramir. Says the Gemara, maybe this land is worth 113 and a third. And he sees why he said 120 is because he messed up by a third. But then who to come to face? I promise to you to come to Fina Kule Hai. A Chavre doesn't want to argue so much on his friends. So says the Gemara, why are we disregarding the third dying as being too high? Maybe. We should disregard the first dayan as being too low, says the Gemara. Like we saw before, Nagamiya straight come be Why the Midrash Ma Allah Imafkilei? Because no, all are agreeing that it's not worth less than one Midrash Zmeya. It's not worth less than a mana. So what's the halacha? Smack in the middle of the white line. The Ravuna Lachacherim Ravashi Hem the Chacherim Lo Yadina. Helchas Avdina and Kavasayu. We don't know the reasoning, says Ravashi. So how can we be asking like them? Tana de Ani Nikola Aisin Shuvan Beinayim Mashal Shin Amar Abu Nel Chsel Ken Ani Gaila Amar Ravashi De Ani De Ani Gaila Le Yadinan Helchas Avdina and Kavasayu in the same exchange. How can you tell me that that's the halacha? We don't know the reasoning. We'll stop over here. I'll pick it up in the Mishnah B'Siyata Dishmaya.